Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial we are going to see, how to create, Cosmic Fire logo animation in After Effects. So let's see the preview. To perform this tutorial, you need, Saba plugin, you can download it from below link in the description. Just like our last tutorial, we have used Saba plugin. Similarly, we are going to use Saba plugin in this tutorial also. You can download the Saba plugin for free from below link in the description. So without any wait let's start creating our logo animation. Create a new composition. Let's name it as Logo Animation. Now set the time duration to 7 seconds. Let's first create our background. Create a new solid. Name it as Background. Now, in Effects and Preset, search for Ramp. Add Ramp to the solid layer. Now change the start and end color as shown. Now change ramp scatter value to 500. Now we need to add our logo to the timeline. You can scale your logo if needed. Now, let's pre-compose our logo. Name it as Logo. Now we need to auto trace our logo, you can manually do it using the pen tool or, go to layer, and select auto trace. Make sure time spam is set to current frame. And in option apply to new layer is unselected. If you click on mask visibility, you can see the created mask. Now in effects and preset. Search for fill. Add it to the logo composition. Now change fill color to black. Now for logo composition, we will add our Saber effect. Go to effects. In video copilot, select Saber. Now let's change the preset to portal. Let's change the glow color. Here you can set any color you want. Now go to customize core. Change core type to layer mask. Now you can see this effect is applied to our logo mask. Now let's change the core intensity to 175%. Change glow bias value to 0.30. Change core size value to 0 0.30. Now go at 10 frames. Now create a keyframe for mask evolution. Now change mask evolution value to minus 50 degree. Now go at 5 seconds and 20 frames. Change mask evolution value to minus 3 rotation. Now come back to 10 frames. Create a keyframe for start size. Now change start size value to 0%. Now go at 20 frames, that is 10 frames forward. Change start size to 200%. Now come back to 10 frames. Create a keyframe for start offset. Change start offset value to 100%. Now go at 5 seconds and 20 frames. Change start offset value to 0%. Now come back to 20 frames. Create a keyframe for end offset. 
Now go at 1 second and 25 frames. Change end offset value to 0%. Now go to render setting. Change composition setting to add. Now change alpha mode to mask core. Now for logo composition, change mask mode to add. For fast preview, you can change preview mode to quarter. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's again add Saber effect. Go to effects, in video copilot, select Saber. Now let's change the preset to portal. Let's change glow intensity to 72%. Now go to customize core. Change core type to layer mask. Now you can see this effect is applied to our logo mask. Now go at 20 frames. Now create a keyframe for mask evolution. Now go at 5 seconds and 25 frames. Change mask evolution value to minus 4 rotation. Now come back to 20 frames. Create a keyframe for start size. Now change start size value to 0%. Now go at 1 second, that is 10 frames forward. Change start size value to 200%. Now come back to 20 frames. Create a keyframe for start offset. Change start offset value to 100%. Now go at 5 seconds and 25 frames. Change start offset value to 0%. Now come back to 1 second. Create a keyframe for end offset. Now go at 2 seconds and 5 frames. Change end offset value to 0%. Now go to render setting. Change composition setting to add. Now change alpha mode to mask core. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's change logo composition to 3D. Now let's create a shadow for our logo composition. Select the logo composition. Now press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate. Now press R to bring up the rotation. Now for X rotation, change rotation value to near about 96 degree. Now press P to bring up the position. Now change the position of Y axis. Position it below the logo, as shown. Now in effects and presets search for, Gaussian Blur. Add it to logo composition. Now change blurriness value to near about 41. Now in effects and preset search for CC radial fast blur. Add it to logo composition. Now change amount value to near about 89. Now press T to bring up the opacity. Now change the opacity to near about 39%.
Now add the logo composition to the timeline. Now go at 4 seconds. Press T to bring up the opacity. Now create a keyframe for opacity. Change opacity value to 0%. Now go at 5 seconds. Change opacity value to 100%. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now change logo composition to 3D. Now create a new camera layer. Now create a new null object. Change null object to 3D. Now for camera layer, parent it to null object. Now select the null object. Press P to bring up the position. At 5 seconds, create a keyframe for position. Now come back to start of the timeline. Now change the position value of Z axis as shown. Now create a new adjustment layer. In effects and presets search for curves. Now add curves to the adjustment layer. Now slightly adjust the curves as shown. Now let's see the preview. Here our Cosmic Fire logo animation is complete. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then make sure to like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.